Hello dear students, uh, uh, today uh, we are here to explain you about the analog to digital conversion. When, whenever we convert an analog waveform to a digital, a digital signals, then that is called analog to digital conversion. In our last video, I told you about the digital conversion and analog conversion. So this, this analog to digital conversion is the part of digital conversion uh, and digi digital to digi it has two parts basically. Uh, analog to digital conversion and digital to digital conversion digital to digital conversion i have already explained you in the last video so this is basically about the analog to digital conversion so in microphone uh, microphones create uh, that creates an analog voice and camera creates analog videos which are treated in analog data so we can say that are in the form of analog waveform so to transmit this analog data over digital signal we need to convert that analog uh, waveform to the digital uh, digital signal so uh, what is analog data uh, analog data can be a uh, uh, we can say a uh, continuous stream data in the waveform whereas digital data is in the form of discrete or we can say discrete data so to convert analog wave into digital data we use basically two type of techniques that is one is pulse code modulation and second is delta modulation so in this video we will co cover pulse code modulation for delta modulation i will uh, make some uh, one more video so uh, what is pulse code modulation so it is the most common technique to change an analog waveform to the digital uh, signal or digital pulses that is known as pulses so that's why it's known as pulse code modulation so pulse code modulation it contains basically three steps uh, it has sampling sampling then quantization and then encoding so uh, so uh, uh, in the very first this is the basic uh, uh, can be example of pcm encoder we say a machine uh, in which uh, uh, first we will sampleize our data then we quantize our data and then we can encode the data in the digital form so these are the um, these are the basic form of our pcm encoder now first is the sampling of data so sampling the uh, in the steps uh, or we can say what is the sampling sampling is the process of measuring the amplitude of continuous time signal because analog if we have analog waveform they will be in the form of continuous time signal so that uh, we will measure the uh, amplitude of that signals at discrete instant means uh, at different different alag alag time frame pe hum unka continuous uh, signals ka amplitude uh, measure karenge and then we will convert that continuous signal into discrete signal jis jis point pe humne usko measure kiya hai us usko hum collect karke ek sample bana lenge so ye sampling ki technique jo hoti hai it can be of three types or we can perform this sampling in three ways one is ideal sampling second is natural sampling and then we can say flat top sampling so first is ideal sampling in ideal sampling it is also known as instantaneous sampling means uh jaisa bhi hamare paas jo bhi kahe ki data hai usko jis form mein wo aata hai usi form mein hum usko sampleize kar dete hain pulses ke form mein usko convert kar dete hain aur sample bana chote chote sample alag alag blocks design kar dete hain so this is an ideal sampling method and cannot be easily implement hum isko easily nahi kar sakte because our data can have many many discrete values or we can say because it is in the uh, continuous form to so so it can be in infinite discrete values so infinite discrete values ko sampleize karna that can be a, a tough job so uh, so this uh, this method is applied less in the sampling so second method is natural sampling in natural sampling uh, it is a practical method of sampling in which pulses have finite width equal to 2 so we will take pulses only with the width T. The result is a sequence of samples that retain the shape of the analog signal. So, ऐसे सिर्फ ऐसे ही signal हम बीच बीच में से उठाते हैं जिससे कि जो analog signal की हमारी shape है वो maintain रह सके और हमारी sampling भी create हो सके और practical method है तो बीच बीच में से हम कुछ ही finite set हम उठाते हैं हम सारे sets को नहीं लेते हैं. So, this is called the natural sampling and then we go to flat top sampling. So when we compare this with natural sampling, flat top sampling can be easily obtained because in this sampling technique, the top of the samples remain constant. 
that will remain constant by using a uh, we will use a circuit in that and because of that that will remain constant this is the most common sampling method to be used in sampling so different type of sampling we can see here this is the ideal sampling that we have taken many values uh, or every value of the sample and in natural sampling uh, we have taken only uh, some values and then in the flat top sampling we have maintained uh, here some circuits and that will but in in all three samplings what will remain constant the way our analog data organize the waveform it forms it will remain equal so these are the three methods of sampling uh, which we can apply during during our process then after sampling what will we do we will quantize our data that is known as quantization so the result of sampling is a series of pulses with amplitude value between the maximum value and the minimum amplitude because we will never go uh, beyond the maximum value and we will never go beyond the minimum value so uh, the samples will remain between the maximum and minimum amplitude because only then we have the same signal that what uh, with the signal we will start it so the set of amplitudes can be infinite with non integral value between two limit maximum and mix minimum now these signal will be quantized so the, uh, that discrete form of continuous analog signals which we have sampleized uh, that uh, shows some uh, every discrete pattern shows uh, the amplitude of the analog signal at an instant so the quantization is done between the maximum amplitude value and the minimum amplitude value and quantization is approximation of the instantaneous values it is the quantization it is known as uh, that's why it is known as quanti quantization because we will quantize the value so how it quantization will be done that signal has amplitude v m v maximum and v minimum they has uh, the range between this and this and divide it into l zones each of heighted d where d is equal to v maximum minus v minimum divided by l we have l zone so what uh, uh, we will uh, subtract our maximum amplitude to the minimum amplitude and from the minimum amplitude and then we divide it with l the value at the top of each sample is the graph shown the actual amplitude the normalized pulses and amplitude modulation pam value is calculated using the formula amplitude after this we calculate the quantized value with the processes selected from the middle of the each zone the quantized error is given by the difference between quantized value and the normalized value then the quantization code for each sample based on quantization level at the left of the graph so we will quantize them on the left of c this is the graph we have this graph and first what we will do normalize pam value then quantize value then we have some error values that is uh, from original to the uh, now gathered value then we will give the code quantize code to them and after quantization what will we do we will encode them so for that we will perform encoding for this step we will perform encoding to them so now what is encoding encoding it is the last step of uh, pulse code modulation uh, after each sample is quantized the number of bits per sample is decided we will collect the samples and the number of will, bits will be calculated now each sample can change to bit code word now the bits will be converted to the codes encoding is a process of re representing the sampled value as a binary number in the range between 0 to n so the digitalization of the analog signal is done by the encoder encoding also minimize the bandwidth used bandwidth so this is known as encoding so, so in pulse code modulation uh, we can go through it uh, in three lines that firstly we will sampleize our data we will create small small blocks of our data then we quantize them uh, using minimum and maximum amplitude and then we will find the uh, quantized code and that quantized code will be encoded using encoding technique and that bit code will be formed uh, with a specific bandwidth uh, because we will minimize the bandwidth in, in it so that is known as encoding 
so using this step we can perform our uh, uh, pulse curve modulation uh, to convert our analog signal or analog waveform or analog data to the digital or discrete data uh, discrete signals so in our next video uh, we will talk about the delta modulation which is also a type of analog to digital conversion thank you so much thank you